hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we will discuss on the topic ds of stomach of mammal so basically what is stomach stomach is a j shaped organ it is a j shaped organ which is uh, present in the gastrointestinal tract of human in the gi tract of human in between the esophagus and the intestine a hollow j shaped organ is present which is named as stomach stomach has various part upper part is the fundus just uh, as the esophagus ends and just above the body part the portion is the cardia main part or the middle portion just below the fundus is the body part and the portion which is close to the intestine is the pylorus so this is the structure of a stomach it is present between esophagus and small intestine it is a hollow organ so if we cut or if we cut the transverse section of stomach and observe it under the microscope we will observe various structures or various layers are found in the stomach like this type of layer is found in stomach okay so this type of layers basically is divided into four layers in stomach the first layer or the innermost layer is the layer which is called as the mucosa layer okay this mucosa layer or the first or the innermost layer is uh, much like a folded structure and it is composed of columnar epithelium okay it is invaginated inside okay and invagination consists of cells which are generally called as the gastric glands okay so what are gastric glands gastric glands are nothing but these are cells columnar cells which generally secrete different types of enzymes okay peptic cells are there then mucosa cells will be there in the upper portion mucosa cells will be there oxantic cells will be there inside the invagination so basically the function of peptic cell is to secrete enzyme that is pepsin some amount of protein is digested in stomach by the help of this enzyme that is pepsin oxantic cell secretes hcl which kills the uh, any bacterial uh, substance that is present inside the food that we consume and mucosa cells can secretes mucus which is very important for the stomach uh, to contain that layer of mucus because as the hcl is secreted the layer of stomach uh, should also be protected because that cell will burn that layer of cell the cells layer that is present in the stomach so that protection will be provided by the mucus cells that secrete mucus then just after the mucosa layer there is another layer which is called as the muscularis mucosa muscularis mucosa generally consists of various muscles like it can consists of circular muscles the oblique muscles then uh, longitudinal muscles the various types of muscles are there in this layer so basically what is the function of muscularis layer muscularis layer generally helps when the stomach has to perform peristaltic movement when the food has been digested in the stomach it has to transfer uh, the food from the stomach to the small intestine so this spinster will open and the food the chyme generally the digested uh, the half digested food uh, which is present in the chest stomach that goes in the small intestine that food is called as the chyme so when the chyme will have to move from the stomach to the small intestine so peristaltic movement is required so for that the uh, the walls of the stomach should have muscles inside it so this peristaltic motion helps generally is been uh, provided by this muscularis layer okay muscularis mucosa the, um, with the help of various muscles um, longitudinal muscles circular muscles oblique muscles so generally this muscles helps in this peristaltic movement then the third layer is the submucosa layer just before just below the mucosa layer there is another layer which is called as the submucosa layer submucosa layer generally contains blood vessels connective tissues nerves limbs as these are also required and for the cells for the proper functioning so this type of uh, 
tissues like connective tissues, blood vessels, nerves, lymph vessels they are found in the submucosa layer just below the muscularis layer. Then after the submucosa layer, the last layer is the serosa layer. This portion is the serosa layer which is just generally composed of squamous epithelium. Squamous epithelium cells are present in a single line uh, in this layer which is called as the serosa layer. Okay.